the first one is, uh, well, human rights is, is one of the things, one of the, the basic uh, set of rights that has been established and agreed to uh, by a very large number of countries. At the same time, you also have standards of behavior, which aren't uh, seen as human rights, but in the majority of countries, there are standards of behavior uh, when it comes down to democratic principles, uh, etc. But then the, the other one that I would say they really need to look at is to make sure uh, the whole network neutrality uh, debate, where commercial interests do not have an overwhelming control over what goes on. And we've seen this whole struggle, I guess, between on the one side, non-commercial interests, uh, including governmental interests and commercial interests on the other. A little bit like the uh, what President Macron said earlier, the uh, internet, the Californian internet uh, versus the Chinese internet. Um, somehow we need to find the just middle and we need to find something that is balanced. And uh, I, I would say they, they, the group that you're speaking about probably have quite some work on their plate to try and find where is that just middle. I might say more meetings such as this one. Uh, I think the Internet Governance Forum is, is one of these places where you are able to voice your concerns, where you are able to engage in constructive dialogue, and you, you're not pressurized as such to find a solution within the three days or five days or week or, or even months before or after the meeting. There's no horse trading. There's none of this political work that sometimes takes place behind the scene in other organizations in order to find a solution. Uh, it's a good place to start the discussion. It's a, a, an amazing place to actually plant a seed, and then you can take up the discussion in the relevant fora uh, afterwards. And I think that this needs to be nurtured as such, because it's particularly important that we continue having this open dialogue. That's an interesting question. Um, I, I think that when you look at digital rights and the Declaration of Human Rights, I would say that there is no real need to update the, the Declaration in itself because it, the alignment should really be that the digital rights should be aligned with human rights. And I, I think the other way around, it, it would be a little strange, wouldn't it, that human rights change when it comes down to the Internet.